Hey all, Steve here. Welcome back. Let's keep 7's day going here at Daikoku Futo. Uh, just see, you know, RX 7's are rolling in, rolling out. Got here a little bit early, but I wanted to be here when it was still light out and before things got broke up. So yeah, we'll see what, what pulls in. FD, Stancy spec. Really drawn in by these wheels. I'm not sure what they are, but wow. So yeah, they look to be 7K wheels. Really neat face to them. It's almost like Rocket Bunny-ish, or is Rocket Bunny with a different front bumper? To be honest with you, I don't know. Super cool color, color combination. Like that carbon little spat off the tail lights. So he, he had to move some stuff. He wasn't ready for it to be shot, but air suspension on it. And yeah, car shop glow, rear wing. It is Rocket Bunny. Just had to talk with him about it. Rocket Bunny, sides. And this is the best part. I always say TCP Magic is the best front bumper. And this is the wide body TCP Magic front bumper that he used just that because he liked the, the body line, which is what I always say. So, man after my own heart. I'll put his Instagram in here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But yeah, what a cool FD. With like a really bunch of unique touches to it. But yeah, more details on it. Really cool owner. He's there talking to Jordo Gogo -Go now. Uh, but yeah, it's just engine's normal. He has another car. It got two race cars, so he bought another FD and he built this thing and made it street spec. So. How good is that? A little blue FD on BBS's and a little black FD on T37's. Like, love it. So, Chantoro, the owner of the FD over there, is saying this one's very rare and there's something special about it. We're gonna find out. <laughs> my my car is gone. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? So this ne, yeah, so a no trouble FD without all the rotary problems. You got a 1.8 liter MB Miata engine swapped in here. I have never seen this. This is wild. Open the hood and you're in for a surprise. Look at that. And look at that. It fits pretty good. Strut tires are here. It's mid-engine basically. Dock body FCs. Good grief. They're so good. Workmeister mesh. Beautiful car. Great stance. And right next to that, another FC. And this is the same super stock FD from Mobara. Heck yeah. So clean. Talking to the owner of this car, if you notice the steering wheel position, I totally missed this at Mobara. This is left handle imp or left hand drive imported from California. See the sunroof? He wanted a manual sunroof car and he said those are much more prevalent in America, so he imported it. It's only got 68,000 miles. Hence, it looks freaking brand new. It's so good. He's had like no tuning. He's had it for about four years. Just a beautiful OEM FD. So a little USDM in Japan. And yeah, he just said it's been repainted in a few parts because it had some fade on the clear. He said the import process wasn't too bad because it's basically you know the same as a Japanese model, so there's paperwork that kind of matched and lined up. And it's only been repainted in a few spots because being from California, it had like sun fade in the clear and stuff like that. So just a really straight up honest, you know, OEM spec FD from America. And then just kind of on the other end of the spectrum, stock FD in the background. RE Super G. Our Yamamiya front bumper. Wild. Love the SBC NK RPF ones on it. Fender mirrors. Carbon hood. This is the business. Scroll of brands on the door. Like just so good. 
side skirt details are impressive as well. Yeah, that is a good look. Blue on that silver. So good. Look at those little... We got carbon wing, RE Super G on that. And look at these little side spats. FD's guys are like, Steve, get over it. But look at that. Carbon overlay on the taillights. Maybe wing built in. And then these little, these little side guys here on the side. So cool. And for the FB fans... This is a Savannah? This is turbo. Super clean. Interior super clean. Wow. This sort of condition is really neat to see. SSR MS1's good look as well. And next to it, this guy for sure was out of Mobara. Excellent blue. Worked in, you know, body worked fender flares and a molded rear spoiler making a really cool look nice wheels as well period correct Advan Niova 8006s <laughs> like what SSR mark ones twos stock or a little modified I don't know these have such a simple wedge shape to them they're so cool and boom, just a nice little FC next to it. Stock on some big 18s. This has like Rob Dom FC vibes to it. His little turbo too. Yeah. Little GTX. Look at the cannon on this guy. Super tip on it. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh man, FC's got the best lines. Fender line is so good. Another good RE car. RE Amamiya. What a look. More cars rolling in and this line, I like this. This guy looks serious. Look at that GT wing on back. Just inside the width of the car. That's a shotgun pass right there. Looks proper. This one maybe looks like dress up time attack. All the carbon canards are super shiny. But it's still a very, very cool look. More RE arrow, I think. I really gotta get better at my FD arrow. I apologize for that, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. And I'm just talking to, yeah. And so yeah, talking to Chantaro about this car. And so this is a super old, like, and here's an old original RE build. RE Yamamiya Aero, RE wheels. Look at that wide body, huge vent, got the wheels, side skirt, so much going on. Almost like Viper-ish-esque front swoop on it. What a lineup. How about that for a logo? Haven't seen one of those like that. Continuing down the line, more RE wheels. So this, this is a feed hood. Everyone's got the feed hood. Apparently that is the hood. And I hope I didn't mistake that, but I'm pretty sure these are all feed hoods. Definitely a common, more common look. And how about that? Those might be, are those stock? Are those OEM BBSs on this guy? Super clean. Just little lips on it, little lip kit. Front and sides, that might be all original 99 whatever spec arrow, sorry guys. Just enjoy the cars I suppose. So I stand corrected. This is like a super period correct build. This was all done a couple years ago. It's just the old original, you know, original versions of our Yamamiya arrow and wing and hood and everything. Even the meter panel inside is just, it's old spec stuff. Period correct build. I thought it was an old school demo car, but yeah, I stand corrected. So cool. 
Another good Savannah RX-7 on some SSR. I think those are RS-8s, not Watts. Oh, they are Watts, sorry. They got the Watts mark. SSR RS-8s are very similar, but clean stock body. Next to this super clean FD on BBSs. And after watching the Speed Academy video, I think those are maybe the side skirts of them ha taking those off. I'll never look at those the same. And here's the little parking speed bump walkway thing that people have to drive over and it has seen some shit. And there you go. That's what the day is all about. Spinning triangles. All right, so that's a wrap for Seven's Day. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. But yeah, it's always fun seeing so much rotary-powered goodness. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do to help the channel out. I do really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Much love, be well.